lovely Sagittarius. This is going to be your reading for your month ahead. This is for April, but as you guys know, my readings are always timeless, so you can see this whenever it comes to you. This is an urgent message for you, so this can be about your future, this can be about you healing something from the past so that you can manifest anew. This could be whatever message that is from your higher self, your angels or your guides. Always pay attention to the signs or pay attention to how you react in the situation. So first of all, what I pay attention to is temptation, your own card, and we have trust. If you receive your own card in a reading, this is a major, major, major sign. This is actually pretty badass. You are safe in the here and now. You are learning how to build a solid ground for your future so that you can feel stable, so that you can feel secure, so that you can receive abundance. And there's a lot of, you know, abundance signs here. Also because we have the corn, again, you do need to plant the seed before that you can receive out of it. And again, we also have a treasure here, we have an apple. So for all of you guys, this might be involved money, your situation right now, you feeling secure, you feeling safe, you feeling love, you trusting the new coming your way. I do feel a lot of you guys are actually being called into work when it comes to your south or your north node. I do feel that trust is a major issue right now. Especially with, you know, whatever is happening in the world at the moment. And it is sometimes hard to trust yourself, to trust, can I be who I want to be? Because we are living in a world where society might, you know, be fake, or it is, you know, fake. Like, everyone puts on a false in identity, identity, is that what you call it? Like, they're not really true to themselves. And I do feel that's something that you are having you know, a hard time with right now because we are all being forced to take off our mask and to be who we want to become. To be us, to be who you are supposed to be. And that is your higher self. It's also hard to trust people again if you have experienced someone saying that you, you can trust them, but then they broke that trust. And again, there's no guarantee that you will you know, not face this again. But you can control the situation. And the universe is going to help you in this situation. Whatever it is that you have been dealing with in the past, whatever you are dealing with right now, whatever you will be dealing with in the future, you can trust that the universe is going to be there for you. But you might not see it sometimes because that you have felt that this trust got broken from other people, from situations. So right now you are building new foundations, you are building something completely new. Like, you, your whole entire life is not what it was before. And that is sometimes scary. And what is crumbling around you is simply elements of your life that have been built on shaky ground. Like sometimes the good health that we have ignored in the past becomes you know, illness or, you know, finances transforms into debt because that, again, the ground wasn't solid enough. And you might feel that, you know, this is the end of your world. And yes, indeed, it might actually be because this is the end of whatever aspect that was not solid, whatever was built on shaky ground. And it's also for you to realize to actually be glad because it's far too stressful to actually present that all is well when it's not. You know, it's hard to keep up this, this shakiness when you know that it's not solid anymore. And things are breaking down, but not because that you're being punished. But it's because that whatever you build on was never solid in the first place. And your divine energy is calling you to create life based on firm and trustworthy foundations. And sometimes this is a slap in the face. I mean, I know that from myself. This can be about finances, this can be about your job, this can be about um, career, this can be about a person. Whatever you experienced in the past was never solid because it was not built on solid ground or, you know, solid commitments 
the trust was never solid. You have the potential to actually create what it is that you want. And some of you guys are starting out new when it comes to work or when it comes to love. But it's because that you can handle it now. You have all the tools inside of you to build this. The abundance is going to come your way. The money that you need is going to come your way. But you also have to realize that you do need to start over. This is your highest potential coming your way. This is your, you know, the snake is going to give you your creative life force. And it's going to show you that it's actually inside of you. It's the base of your chakra. It's your base chakra. It's the energy that comes from the base of your spine. It's the essence of a solid foundation. So for a lot of you guys, this is about abundance. This is your potential within that's actually being, you know, shaken up and wakened up. Like waking up the sleepy dragon inside of you. You are waking up from a slumber. Also, with the snake, it has the energy that you can receive more power from meditation or from practicing yoga and the beautiful thing here is this the snake always appears in a reading if there's no time to waste anymore so you know why your ground has been shaken up now you know that it's time for you to gain trust again in yourself or in your life with your job with a person with love i do feel a lot of you guys are being connected together with your higher self you are receiving some kind of power from within that you haven't been ready to receive because again you build things on a shaky ground in the past and the universe didn't want to give you your, you know your power because that it would have been wasted or it would have been you know turned to 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 more even more anger even more depth and you do have a lot of angels you know, around you at the moment, you do have a lot of guardians, a lot of beings helping you. They are just waiting for you to realize your potential. It is big time healing for you, which is a very, very beautiful thing. It is the key that you have been looking for. It's the key to success, the key to abundance flowing into your life. So whatever situation you are in right now, it had to happen for you to build new grounds. A lot of you guys might have experienced that your business needed to close down or you got fired or your depression turned even worse. And this because that you've been shaken up to realize the new. You do need to choose to trust whatever is going on. You do need to choose to trust that the foundation that you are building right now is going to be stable. It is going to be done the right way for you to experience success. And it's something that happens for a lot of us, believe me. None of you guys are feeling trapped and it does make sense in the situation that we are in. This can be trapped in your finances or feeling trapped that you can't back out, you can't do anything, you're just locked down, you, you are in a situation where, again, everything is crumbling. But, you know, however, this is the lowest point of your circle. And these feelings that you have inside of you, they will shift. But they will shift if you move forward, if you move out of this difficult phase that you are in, that you, you know, trust that these buildings are actually going to make you powerful, not powerless. You do need to be patient. You need to have compassion for yourself and trust that you have the support that you need. You are not alone. You might be alone right now because of the situation, but you are not alone because you do have your angels and your guides. They're just waiting for you to call upon them, to give you the power of creativity so that you can write down your new ideas, so that you can create, so that you can build. You are being pushed into your destiny. This is you coming full circle. No matter how bad the situation looks, it's actually for you to move into your destiny. And you have already planted a beautiful new field of creativity, of your dreams, of, you know, there's something inside of you where you know, this is the direction that I want to go in. But you might not trust that you can do this, you know, for a living. That might be the problem here. You have already planted your creative canvas 
is that convex <laughs> convent con <laughs> painting i don't know what to call that you know inside of you like this there's so many stories inside of you that wants to come out and be told or wants to come out and be created and even in the moment where we are losing faith you continue and even in the past if you're looking back at moments where you lost faith you continued you never gave up and this is the same energy in the here and now you are not giving up it is a time for you to actually reap all the rewards that you have built from the past all the creations that you have actually done but that you might have forgotten and it is for you to realize that the reward coming your way is financial help it's you know prosperity this can be prosperity in many ways when this card appears in your reading it means that you are very 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 blessed it's a message don't forget to share your good fortune so for a lot of you guys something very very surprisingly wealthy is going to come your way a surprise of wealth and abundance is coming your way like you know this is your reward but you do need to remember if you get you need to share so i hope that this could help you out a little bit let me know in a comment below Remember to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!